Rock Collecting by Roma Gans. People collect all kinds of things. They collect coins, stamps, baseball cards, shells, toys, bottles, pictures, and cats. Some people collect things that are very old. The older, the better. The oldest things you can collect are rocks. Most of them are millions and millions of years old. One way to start a collection is to look for rocks of different colors. You will find there that there are pink rocks, black rocks, and pure white ones. There are gray rocks and brown and yellow ones. Most kinds of rocks are easy to find, but some, like diamonds and emeralds, are rare. That's why they are valuable. Thousands of years ago, the Romans built roads made out of rocks. The rocks are still used today. 5,000 years ago, the Egyptians built the pyramids with rocks. They are still standing. Maybe someday you'll go to Egypt and see them. Some rocks are soft, much too soft to build with. Talc is so soft that you can pinch it into a powder with your fingers. Talc is number one on the scale of hardness of rocks. The scale goes from one to ten. Diamonds are number ten. They are the hardest rocks in the world. Rocks cover the whole earth. No matter where you live, you live on rock. There is rock under city streets and country, country farms. There is rock under every ocean, lake, and river. The rocks that cover the surface of the earth are called the earth's crust. Most of the crust is made of igneous rock. Igneous means made by heat. Inside the earth is very hot, hot enough to melt rock. The melted rock is called magma. Sometimes the magma pushes through cracks in the crust. When magma comes to the surface, it is called lava. The lava cools and becomes very hard. It becomes igneous rock. Granite is an igneous rock. It once was magma. Some granite is gray with small, shiny black and white crystals. Some granite has large pink, black, and white crystals. Quartz is another igneous rock. It is hard, number seven on the scale of hardness. Some pieces of quartz are white like milk. Others are clear like glass. Sometimes quartz have bands of many colors. Jewelry is made from it. The marbles you play with may be made of banded quartz. Basalt is another kind of igneous rock. It is usually dark in color, gray, green, or black. It is the most common of igneous rocks. Not all rocks are igneous rocks. Some are made of sediments. Sandstone is one kind of sedimentary rock. It is made of grains of sand. Millions of years ago, sand was blown into rivers. The rivers carried along sand along and dropped it into lakes and oceans. Layer after layer settled on the bottoms of the lakes and seas. The top layers pressed down on the bottom layers. Slowly, the lower layers of sand became stone. You'll, you'll know sandstone when you see it. It is soft and grainy. Rub it with your fingers, and grains of sand will come off. Shale is another kind of sedimentary rock. Clay is the sediment it is made of. Shale is used to make cement. Cement is used to make concrete for sidewalks. Another sedimentary rock is limestone. It is made of shells of animals that lived millions of years ago. Most often, limestone is white, but it can be pink, tan, or other colors. Sometimes you can see the outlines of shells in limestone. The chalk you write with is limestone. Limestone is also used to make cement. The lime used on lawns and gardens is usually ground up limestone. The third kind of rock in the Earth's crust is called metamorphic. Metamorphic means changed. Slate is a metamorphic rock. Slate was once shale, but over millions of years, tons and tons of rock pressed down on it. The pressure made the shale very hot, and the heat and pressure changed it into slate. Chalkboards are made of slate. Slate is sometimes used to cover the roofs of buildings. Most slate is gray, but some is red, brown, or black. Other metamorphic rocks are made the same way slate is, by heat and pressure. Some metamorphic rocks are so changed you can't tell what they once were. Nice, marble, quartzite. Granite turns into nice. It was once a piece of gray granite. Now it is darker gray and the crystals in it has separated into layers. Limestone turns into marble. Some marble has colored marks that look like clouds. Sandstone turns into quartzite. It may look like sedimentary sandstone, but now it is much harder. When you start collecting rocks, you'll find out how many different varieties there are. See if you can tell if they are igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks, or metamorphic rocks. You can keep your small rocks in egg cartons. You can keep your larger, one in, larger ones in cardboard boxes with dividers like this one. Rock collecting is fun, and one of the best things about it is you can do it anywhere. Wherever you go, try to find new rocks and add them to your collection.